Yeah, when you trade as a cost, yes, they sell off and risk. We're seeing people put back on uh, risk positions coming through. Uh, we are expecting the Asian markets to, to open in terms of the equity markets to open a slightly mixed picture. We are calling the Nikkei up about 60 basis points at the moment. Our opening call for the ASX looking constructive about 40 basis points. Uh, and we're seeing a little bit of weakness expected on the opening, the Hang Seng and also the H shares. But if you have a look at what we're seeing in terms of leads for Asia, I mean, so Europe are closing on a fairly flat mixed picture. But the S&P and, and, and US equity markets are going for it. Certainly the, uh, the, the, the Nasdaq looking pretty strong. Tech more broadly is, is looking really good on the day. That's where the outperformance has been. If we have a look at the, the S&P futures, you can see this really just beautiful take going through European trade into US trade and up it goes. We're at the highest of the day at the moment. The cash markets are flying. Uh, you know, you've got this, an S&P trading 45.10 at 1.2%. The Nasdaq up 2.1% so to speak at the moment. Now volumes are a touch light, but you can still make money in a light volume environment. We are seeing cash volumes in the S&P 24% below the average, just over a million spoos trading hands. So that's a touch on the light side, but we are seeing good breadth coming through. 86% of stocks are higher on the day. That should feed through into it and, and certainly support the Asian markets. Um, you know, the only sector that's under pressure at the moment is energy. And that's obviously because we are seeing WTI and Brent prices under a bit of pressure today with both about sort of 3% lower. WTI front month got down to 110.61. Uh, it's paid them a little bit higher from that point at the moment. So people are focused on this meeting between Biden and the EU and, and, and effectively how they can move away from their reliance on Russian oil going forward. Now, in terms of the FX market, that risk on sort of mantra spilling over into further yen weakness. The yen just can't find a friend at the moment. Yeah, the trade weighted yen over, well, since the beginning of March is down about 6.5%. It's just been on this emphatic sell off going through. Aussie yen completely flying again, 1.2% 1, 1 higher. The Swedish krona yen really working out. The question is, is when do you start taking profits on that trade? When do you start fading on that one at the moment? You know, some of the momentum indicators to me are screaming out that, that this is overbought. Have a look at gold. Gold's up 1%, 1, 1%, 1963. That's been really quite a strong place to be, even though we are seeing a sell-off coming through in yields. And crypto, crypto looks really good at the moment. Have a look at the daily chart of Ethereum, breaking out of that top end of the range. Could be one for the momentum traders to watch there as well. So a mixed picture shaping up across Asia, but trade it across with Pepperstone.